So what if none of that works? You say, Donna, you know, I really gave it a try. I did this for four months, six months, religiously. You know, in the drugs, I've tried all six. I have lots of patients like that. You know, they've just tried one medication after another. Well, we've got, we've got other things, and they're actually not very invasive. They're not big surgeries where, you know, you're cut open. They're all actually quite superficial and um, come and go type of procedures with very little anesthetic. So this is under the realm of the nerve stimulation. What we want to do is actually stimulate your bladder nerve. Contrary to what it sounds like, it doesn't excite them. It actually quiets them down, okay? By stimulating these nerves, we seem to be able to calm the nerves so your bladder is not so overactive. There's a nerve point right at the inside of your ankle that hits the nerve that comes from the bladder, okay? The central nerve kind of comes out of your spine, goes to your bladder, but there's a branch of it that actually comes down your leg. Interestingly, this is a very important acupuncture point as well. This is the cross-section of three meridian lines in acupuncture. So what we've devised, actually, was started at UCSF um, by one of our professors. What we do is we can put in an acupuncture needle right to that point, and then we attach a tiny little uh, wire, the electrical current can run through it, and we just gently stimulate that for about half an hour, once a week, okay? And there are patients who do very well. So really not very invasive. These needles, acupuncture needles, you don't even feel them going in. So, but not everyone can come in every week, right? Depending on where you live, depending on who can do this. Um, companies market this, they put kind of, they use little patches that you can put on yourself and then stimulate, okay? The, the, the effectiveness is um, variable, but this is an easy, easy thing to try. Really no, really no side effects. We don't, it doesn't paralyze you, it doesn't do anything to your nerves. Okay, so very nice option. The other one that um, I've done more that seems to get a little bit better results because you go directly to the nerve just when it comes out of your spine, okay? It's, and the bladder nerves come out near your tailbone, a little bit above your ta tailbone in the sacrum. Um, this was developed 30 years ago and it's been FDA approved for almost 15 years, okay, in use in, um, in the United States. And what this entails is that it's hitting this relay station in our sacrum that controls a lot of the bladder function, specifically the bladder storage. So you want the bladder to be relaxed so it can hold more urine, so that's not spasming. So what we do is actually I brought a little model of it too. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up in a little bit and show you. It's all very tiny. It's a tiny little wire that we put through your tailbone. So some local anesthetic, you know, give you a little bit happy, sleepy medicine. You're actually not knocked out completely. Um, we put this little wire in, and and then there's a two stage to this. I put the little wire in. And then I put a temporary wire out your skin on your back and you carry a little stimulator, a little battery. It's like a pager, okay? And then just sending signal to the wire and just calming the nerves down. It's like bathing those nerves, okay, in the signal. And you do this for about a week to two weeks. You go around and then you come back, you tell me, okay, Donna, I feel like I'm at least 50% better. Or, honey, no good, barely 10%. You know, I don't notice any difference. So you, you do a test trial, right? I'm not going to implant anything in you unless it helps you. So our bare minimum usually is about 50% improvement, okay? So you say, you know, Dr. Dang, this is fantastic. I can hold it now. I can actually get to the bathroom, okay? Then what we do is this is a tiny little battery. It's about, a, about this big, thin. We kind of put it underneath the skin and the fat, kind of over your butt, okay? Over your upper butt. We all have a little bit of fat over there. So, so it doesn't, you don't sit on it, you don't quite lie on it. So then everything is just internalized. It's just underneath the skin. This wire goes to this little battery and that's it. So the beauty of this is that it can, the battery lasts for up to five years. Um, we used to use a bigger battery that lasts 10 years, uh, but it was a little bit bigger. Uh, the little one is a little bit, you know, more comfortable for people. And it just sends signal to the 
to your, to your sacral nerves. You can you actually get a remote control. You can actually turn it on and off, up or down. So just, you know, your TV remote, this remote, just make sure you don't <laughs> get them confused. Um, you get a little jolt off that. But you don't get electrocuted. There's no danger of paralysis or anything like that, okay? So that's absolutely not something to worry about. It's very, it can be very effective. I have a, a few Parkinson's patients who've had this done. And, you know, they can get to the bathroom now, you know, in time. It's quite safe. I let my 92-year-old grandmother try this if she needed it. Okay? It's reversible. Even though I implant all of this, it's actually, think of it, I, I describe it as, as a pacemaker for the heart, for the bladder. It's very similar to the heart. It's actually made by the same company. Um, it's reversible, meaning I can take this out anytime. It doesn't work or stop working. Or if you get an infection from where we cut, okay, we can deal with that. It's all quite superficial. And what's great is that you don't burn any bridges. You can always go back and try more pills if a brand new pill comes out. Um, or you can try any other procedures. So, and you can always turn it off, right? While we're trying something else. So it has a lot of those advantages. The one thing that's contraindicated is that MRIs. You can't go into an MRI machine. So luckily for Parkinson's patients, once you're kind of stable, they don't need to MRI you every year or twice a year. Um, but once in a while, you know, I have to take this out when someone kind of bonk, falls, needs an MRI of the brain, and they have this thing in, so we have to take that out for them. But that's really the main problem. There are some kind of reports about, you know, you setting off <laughs> alarms. <laughs> um, <laughs> The store isn't such a big deal, but the airport, so you really need to carry that card with you if you have this in. It's not so fun anymore with the TSA in the airports. So finally, last little bit, I'm going to tell you the new, the new kit on the block that's really been very exciting for a lot of our patients is Botox. Well, you know, you're like, what's a big deal, right? All the stars have been using it for a long time. Well, the way the Botox works is that actually it just bl it blocks the acetylcholine. It won't even let it leave the nerve terminal to make the muscle contract or spasm. Okay? And what do we do? I inject it directly into the bladder. So I can make your bladder very beautiful. <laughs> and this is, a, this is a, everyone always asks, can you save a little bit? <laughs> this is the magnified look when we put a little telescope into your bladder, okay, through the urethra. And what we do is we just use a needle, and I put in 10 to 20 little shots throughout the bladder, really very easily tolerated. We can do this in 10 minutes. For a lot of the ladies, I can do them just in clinic. We soak your, we numb your bladder, and it works really well. We give the, the boys a little bit more sedation. Um, they whine a little bit more, you know. <laughs> they claim the urethra is longer for them. Um, it's worked very well. You know, it's not yet FDA approved, but we've been doing this for about 10 years, worldwide studies in a lot of neurologic patients. And um, some up to 90% really taking away all the leakage. So it's really beautiful. Okay, how about one more minute? Almost done, 30 seconds. So I do want to say it's not FDA approved yet. They're going through the phase three trials. The FDA is, you know, strict. It's okay for the wrinkles and your eyelid and, you know, your vocal cords, but they need to approve every organ that's used in. But I think it's actually quite safe. Lasts about six months or so. Um, and really the main downside is that it works too well. Your bladder is so relaxed, so you don't have to go, but you really can't go, and you can't pee. Five percent or less um, with that. And again, it's transient, right? It doesn't last that long. So over a couple of months, that usually goes away. And... Uh, so, in summary, this is a big problem, and, um, and you really should tell somebody about it, especially if it bothers you, okay? Most common, what you'll find in Parkinson's patients is you'll have an overactive bladder, um, and also some degree of not being able to empty your bladder completely. Uh, finally, I've told you a little bit about the tricks we have up our sleeves besides the medications. So, do try the medications if you haven't yet, um, but we have other things that we can offer you. But the key thing is you're the boss. Doesn't bother you, doesn't bother me. Okay, so you have to actually direct a lot of this and talk to your doc doctors about that. Okay, thank you very much for your attention.